ready to unveil this DIY giant candy corn. Here we go. One, two, three. Here. everybody your boy Bong is back and today I have a very special video for you guys as you guys can see I am in the kitchen so we are coming hot with a banger DIY for your head tops we are doing a DIY giant candy corn yeah you guys know I'm in the kitchen so none other than the main man behind the camera today chat with a J say what up to the people here what up Mongolians let's get it. that's right guys we are making a DIY giant candy corn so let's not waste any more time before we get today's video started go down smash that thumbs up button Let's try to crack a bajillion likes on this video because everybody's favorite time of the year is Halloween So we got to come through with a Halloween themed video But I don't want you to make a Halloween themed video So make sure you get back get a Halloween themed video <laughs> If you guys don't know what a candy corn is they are these little um, vanilla tasting like soft mm, soft Chewable candies. Mm. They're kind of like melt in your mouth. They're delicious. Go out and try them out. But today we are making one that is this big. So to get today's video started, what you will need is a big old pot with a nice candy thermometer. Here. Then you're gonna need a measuring glass. Don't ever play yourself. This is a formula. If you go too high or if you go too little, you're gonna play yourself and don't ever play yourself. You played yourself. So we are gonna grab some fine white sugar. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going for about six cups of fine sugar. All right, this is gonna be a giant DIY. Scare the bag. Scare the big bag. All right, I got Molly, I got white here. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay. Yo, Dave okay. is scratch. Yo, okay, okay, okay. Kid, what do you need this? Alright, alright. So that's four cups right there here. Alright. Now we need another two cups. Here. Bro, if I got the perfect amount of sugar, I'm gonna be stressed. Is that two cups? That's a little bit over two cups. Amazing. Here. So there's two cups of sugar in that bad boy. Next up guys, we need about four cups of corn syrup. So I got these bad boys over here. Essentially each one of these is two cups. So I got two of them. Secure the corn syrup alert. <laughs> you can't make candy corn without the corn syrup. Don't ever corn yourself, corn yourself. Here. All right, so here's our two cups. Oh, bad and bougie. You hear me with the sound effects. Gee, it sounds nice. And candy like here, 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 here. This is a very easy DIY, guys, because honestly, I didn't know. I took a regular recipe and I multiplied it by six. Turns out that six, 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 six turned out to be a good number because after I multiplied everything, it literally said two of these things. I didn't have to eye it out. I know to dump two of these things out like so. Here, 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 here. Amazing. Here. So we have four cups of corn syrup. Now, last but not least, we need some butter. And we need about two cups of butter for this guy here, and that's about a whole thing of this. So literally, we're gonna un. Yo, they made this one nice and easy for your boy today. Oh, very nice and easy. Look, all I'm gonna do is unwrap this guy like this. Unwrap it like so here, here, here. Like, ah, oh, come on, man. Here, here. <laughs> Why are you taking apart Vincent Van Gogh's artwork? Bro, 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 bro. Here. Here. All right, now we're gonna take this guy over no, to the no. oven. And we are gonna place this guy here and we are gonna put it on a medium low heat until this guy hits about 230 degrees. But while this guy is gone, we're gonna take it back over to the working station. Alrighty guys, so the next step in our DIY giant candy corn yeah, is to prepare the other side of the candy corn, the side that isn't gonna be hot, all right? So in this big dusty green ball, I have 15 cups of powdered sugar. Like that's a lot of powdered like, sugar. Come man. on, like, man. That's so much. So that's gonna play a major role. That's what's gonna help us roll out our uh, our big concoction thing that we're making. It's gonna look like a dough, but it's actually gonna be candy. It's gonna be delicious. So we have our 15 cups of powdered sugar. We also need to add two cups of evaporated milk, guys. Yo, DJ's age. DJ is. You thought he liked condensed milk? Dog, no, 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 this no. This is evaporated. He loves he loves How his milk he evaporated oh and condensed. <laughs> All right. Good to know. So we need two cups of this guy. Here. Here. About halfway, like last time. Okay. Here. All right, boom. 
All right, so boom. Now, Dave is stressed, because you guys, if you guys know what stress is Dave about, it's a little, little ingredient called salt, so we'll be right back. No, 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 no. Don't worry, guys. Dave, I think I actually hear Dave coming. All right, here we go, here we go. We're just gonna put a little bit of salt. No, no, no. <laughs> a little bit of salt. Yeah, no, right, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. That, that's enough salt, that's enough salt. Holy All bro, right, Dave so is stressed, yo, Dave is stressed. Yeah, yeah, that's enough salt right there. So what we wanna do is grab a spoon and we wanna start mixing this guy like so, right? We want an even mix us around the whole thing because essentially when that thing heats up, when it hits 230 degrees, we are gonna be pouring that guy in this guy to make our doughy substance that we are gonna create our DI. Why? Look so, at the bakers, man. Look at the. You know, I. Got, you haven't even spilt. There's so much powder in that bowl. How, how come you haven't spilt any? Mm, I think some like powdered sugar just popped up and hit my lip, and it actually tastes delicious. So we're gonna continue mixing this guy until it's fully mixed, and then we're gonna keep an eye out on our heating concoction to make sure it hits the proper temperature. So we'll catch you guys when we're all ready to roll. All right, guys. As you can see, it has started to melt, but you want to make sure that you are continuously stirring this guy. You don't want to play yourself. Never. Don't ever play yourself. You played yourself. Make sure you are. Continuously Continuously stirring this guy because if you don't you'll have a major mess to clean up right and we don't want that We want this to be a clean and easy DIY so we're getting some melting going on as you guys You're can helping see. it a lot you're breaking you know the what butter I mean? apart. like the butter's coming together This guy is coming along great So we're just gonna keep mixing this guy until we have hit our temperature again. Alrighty guys as you can see it is starting to bubble up over here We got some bubbling on the sides. We are almost at 230 so we got to keep an eye out now we don't want to play ourselves, we want to make sure that it is the perfect temperature to make our DIY giant candy corn. So, we are almost there, like I was saying, this probably needs another 30 seconds. I've kept stirring it the whole time, kept my eye on it. I don't want to play myself here. Bro, this looks delicious. Look at that, bro. It's like a beautiful that. little... Ooh, and look at those bubbles, they're coming through. It's looking like a big vibe. All right, guys, so we have hit 230. What I'm going to do is take this bad boy off the heat like so, put it on the side, turn it off safety first. We can take out our candy thermometer now because we are done <laughs> using that. All right, guys, so the next thing you guys want to do is add about six tablespoons of vanilla, and I don't have a tablespoon with me, so Dave Scratch, here, here, here. All right, so what we want to do is mix up this vanilla concoction like so. Ooh, look at this big vanilla vibe that we're getting here. Mix this guy all up. Mm. Big vanilla vibe. All right, and as soon as that vanilla is mixed in. Oh, smell that. Smell, smell it right good. now. Ooh. Mm. Smells like a big vibe. All right, so we want to take this guy off the heat. Put it right here. What we actually want to do is start to slowly mix. Oh, oh, oh. We're going to slowly, without playing ourselves, mix these guys together. Here. We need more, man. Perhaps. Oh. Perhaps. Perhaps. Ooh. All right, now we're gonna start mixing some more here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, the thing I like about these DIYs is it's my first time trying all this stuff, right? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I have no idea what I'm doing here. But it always works out <laughs> here. here. Okay. Oh, oh, here. Perhaps. Perhaps. We're cutting it close. Perhaps. Here. On the Von Gizzles channel. Perhaps. Okay, 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 okay. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. Here. Okay. And now we hit there. it with a one, two, perhaps. Just gotta mix that in there, bro. Okay, oh, mix that in there, mix it in there. Oh, what's going on in here? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> like, come on, man, something's gotta give out here. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, okay, oh. now we're talking perhaps. Okay, okay. Maybe we'll add that last little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 all right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Perhaps. Here. Okay, okay, okay. So, now this, we need to start This mixing. is going to be a battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to start off slow, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and work our way <laughs> in to the powdered sugar. Here, perhaps some more mixing. So that's going to be a big dough ball. That's it. Pretty much, we're going to keep mixing this guy until we get one big dutty ball of dough, because this is pretty much it, except for the coloring, of course. So we're going to continue mixing this guy nice and slow, guys. We don't want to make a huge mess. 
When we've made a little bit of progress, we'll be back. All right, guys, we're on to a new technique. Bongo's discovered, and it's actually making things go by twice as fast. Yo, your boy Bongo is out here. Add me on Instagram. DM me if you're trying to get your salad toss, DJ. <laughs> Yo, come get your salad toss. G, look at this. Here, 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 here. Yo, Bongo, look at this double scoop. Oh, look at this double. <laughs> Ooh, this is a nice big vibe. All right, we're, we got a lot of mixing to do here, bud. Here. Yeah, but you've already made it to step two. It's looking more like a clumpier dough at this point. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You just gotta keep mixing. So we'll update you again as soon as he goes through to the next DIY vibe. Guys, Bongo's been going hard. Look at this progress. Before it was just white powder. I'm sweating. It's going off. But you're right. It's not. It's no longer just a white powder. It is coming together. It's becoming more sticky. But we have to keep mixing until we get a doughy vibe. Five. The bowl is also very freaking warm, so like I feel like it just needs to cool Woo! down. But you see how it's like coming together on the sides here? Like, look at this. Look at this vibes. Like, look, you see? It's like a pancake batter. Yeah, kind of. Ah! Ah! Hot! Mmm, but delicious. <laughs> Alright, guys, so I have stirred this thing for about five minutes now. Your boys sweat up, right? But I think we have stirred as much as we can stir. So we're gonna let this guy cool off for about half an hour or so until we get like a nice, you know, one big ball. Right now it's like still way too hot, which I think is why it's still a little bit gooey, but it does taste like the candy corn. So we're almost there, guys. We just need this to cool off. We're gonna shape our thing. We're gonna color it with some icing coloring. And then we are gonna be ready to complete our DIY giant candy corn yay here. Two thousand years later. All right guys, so we have literally left this thing in the fridge for so long because honestly, I really underestimated how hot it was gonna be, but it has finally cooled down. It's no longer as gooey as it was before. It is starting to get a little bit hard. So it's time to get our hands dirty feet. Take the jewels off, Oh, no, 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 you know what Take off the jewels. Yeah. Take off the jewels, baby. All right, so what we wanna do, is grab a box of Bartschman vapor. Hey, uh, you haven't used the Bartschman vapor in a while. For a minute, but here we go. New box of Bartschman vapor. As you can see guys, I've been working my way with this guy. When you do press it in with the wax paper, make sure you rip it off quick. But you guys can see I have one big dusty piece of candy here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mold it into a giant triangle like so, all right? Before I color it, before I cut it into little squares, I'm gonna try to mold it into one big dutty triangle, and that's what we're gonna use to make our DIY giant Candy corn. Candy corn. You see the little vibe I'm trying to do. Alrighty guys, so I have molded this thing into a nice big dutty dough, but you guys will notice that Jenna was no longer with us. We have a new cameraman, just Dustin. Now, what we want to do is section it off in three sections. Obviously, we want to dye the bottom yellow, the middle orange, and we're going to keep the top as is. It's going to be nice and white. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take a very small knife, all right? And now, what we want to do is just... A very small knife. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. We're just gonna try to eye it out here to see, okay, this realistically would be the white part, this realistically would be the orange part, and that leaves us with a big dusty part of yellow on the bottom. So what we can actually do is just take this guy off like so. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So now this part right here is gonna be our yellow part. So what we wanna do is move our DIY giant candy corn onto the side, and we actually want to grab another piece of big dusty parchment paper. Now guys, when you're doing this part, you want to be super careful, all right? You want to wear gloves because ice and coloring can stain your hands and we don't want that. So we got our nice latex gloves ready to roll. Honestly, in a previous life, I should have been a surgeon. That's how I know how I was literally just thinking that. So fast, watch this. Bring it on this side, you bring them in like this, you say here, even though all my hands are sticky, you bring it in and then you just pop it one time like that. All right, so. We are ready to work. We need our yellow icing coloring. So we need to be very careful with this guy and only add as needed, all right? Because if you add too much, you're playing yourself. Here we go. Pop this guy open. Start slabbing on some yellow. Here, here. All right, maybe open this guy up a little bit more and hit it with a one, two. Here. Here, all right, that should be yellow enough to be honest. So what we're gonna do is just get 
the rest of that yellow onto the thing. Then we're gonna grab our big dutty ball and guys, with our hand, what we're gonna do is start maneuvering oh, wow. it like so. Here, here. Get that yellow flavor into your big white ball. And as you guys can see, we are starting to get some color already. But this will take a little bit to make sure that all the color gets evenly distributed into the white to bring it to that nice yellow vibe. So we're gonna keep at this guy for a little bit longer. Looks like Play-Doh. It does look like Play-Doh, I'm kinda aging. <clears throat> you want beef, all right? <clears throat> Yo, say something. Say something else, baby. Yo, say something else. As you guys can see, we are getting that nice golden yellow vibe. Here we go. We are almost done with our first piece, to be honest. This guy is nice and yellow. Let's see if there's any dutty streaks in here. No, no dutty streaks. Just nice and yellow. All right, so here's our first ball. We can put that guy to the side. Yeah. Boom. So there is our yellow piece of candy corn right here. Now we are going to take this piece. Oh, we don't want to make... We don't want to get the white piece dirty. You know what? We're going to change our gloves. All right, guys. So I've been going at this guy for about five minutes now. As you guys can see, we got our orange, we got our yellow, and we got our white. It is time to make our DIY giant candy corn. All right. So we need a fresh piece of parchment paper on the side of us. So we're going to take our gloves off, guys. We don't want any of the coloring from the other stuff to get mixed up. So here we go. Fresh piece of parchment paper. Boom. Just like so. Now, this is where the artistry comes in, all right? We need to take the big white piece first. That's gonna be our top piece, all right? So we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna mold it up real quick, slap her down, all right? Now, what we wanna do is we wanna envision our piece of candy corn. So this is gonna be the top. I'm gonna start using the parchment paper to mold it out like so, boom. We're gonna grab the top. We're gonna grab the bottom. We're gonna start molding it up. Bring the bottom piece, guys, and make sure the bottom piece is straight because that's what we're sticking to our other pieces. So guys, make sure you are molding it out. Boom, boom, boom. And there is the top of our DIY giant candy corn. So there's the top. Now, we wanna take our orange piece and mold it. We're gonna take the middle part, guys, and we're gonna try to line it up with the bottom part here, all right? And then we're gonna press it down ever so slightly but we're also gonna maintain the shape, all right? So maintaining the shape, we're gonna press it down so that they can combine together, boom, like so. All right guys, so make sure while you guys are working with this that you are molding it as you go, all right? You wanna make sure that the edges are coming together nicely. Look, this doesn't even look like we attached it. It looks like one big piece. So here we go, continuing the mold up, all right? Boom, boom, boom. And then bring this guy down like so. Now, it is time to add the yellow part to the bottom of our DIY giant candy corn. Here we go, take this last big yellow piece here, all right? Now again, guys, you wanna play with it one quick time, put it on the bottom as if you're lining it up. So line it up like this, press it down like so. All right, and now what you guys wanna do is press it down with your hand, and again, use that parchment paper to line up the sides, all right guys? So here we go, boom, 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 and now press it outwards, all right? So you guys wanna make sure you are maintaining that shape that we want, that nice triangle shape, all right? So we got a nice top, and then a nice wide bottom, all right? So here, there you go, widen here, up. widen it up, boom, 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 and you guys just want to keep it intact like so. Now, as you guys can see, we have one big dusty piece of candy corn. We're going to leave this guy to dry off just a little bit, just so we can get a little bit of firmness from this guy, all right? It's still a little bit maneuverable. We don't want that, all right? So we're just going to make sure that we're shaping it out. Boom, pressing it up on the side, making sure the top is nice and narrow, and the bottom is nice and wide here. Boom. All right, guys. So we're going to give this guy about half an hour to fully cool off, and then we are ready to lift this guy up and taste test our DIY giant candy corn here. All right, guys. So we put this outside because it's nice and cold out here in Canada. But as you can see, we have one nice big hard piece of candy corn. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip it over, and then we have a nice smooth surface. We'll be ready to unveil this DIY giant candy corn. Here we go with the flip. Watch this. One, two, three. Here. Here. Alrighty guys, so there it is, a DIY 
giant candy corn. It's our favorite time of the video. It is taste test time. So I'm just gonna pick this guy up and just go for a nice big dusty bite. Mm. Oh, headshot. Mm. Bro? That's an overwhelming amount of candy corn. But Jesus. I swear to God. Chad's back. It tastes the exact same. Bucky. It tastes the exact same, bro. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I actually like yours more. Here, here, Dustin, get get over here. Yo, when I cut for a bit, did you go out and the camera's off? You went out and bought that, right? No, no I made it. You went out, went out. I made you it. it. Yeah, you did. You bought it. Yeah, you no, no, no. Try the Travel real. Nice try the real nice. candy corn first. Okay, all right, thanks. Candy corn. Here. Not bad, not bad. I'm an elegant kind of guy, you know? Fork, no, no, no. Look at this guy with the fork and knife eyes. You gotta get a little bit of each section. No, no, no. Look bit at of this guy. Section, all right? I bam, love that. Bam, I love that. Bam. Hey, that's a DIY candy corn eyes. I like that. I like it's way too much in my mouth, but amazing. It gets a nice. For watching this video if you enjoyed this video please go down smash that like button i had a blast making this diy giant candy corn day it tasted delicious it was pretty easy to make not that messy i honestly thought it was going to be a little bit messier but you know it turned out to be pretty good let's not come on man huge shout out to my main homies for helping me out on today's video youtube.com slash chat with a j and youtube.com slash dust dustin that'll do just type in dustin Again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and until next time, take it easy. It's Bonkey!